Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Well, you might think today's episode is all about bananas, but it really isn't. It might be about going bananas when it comes to our solar installation, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. to be talking about this morning is our latest upgrade to our solar system here at Villa Feliz. You know we have many backup plans here. We have the regular solar that comes in. We have the backup batteries. We have the backup batteries to the backup batteries in the solar uh, in the way of the EcoFlow system that we originally had before we had solar here. Uh, and we have multiple other type of security features built inside uh, automatic transfer switches and all that. And you can look at that when you go go back and take a look at our solar system uh, video series that has to do with installing solar in your home. Uh, anyway, today what we're going to talk about is our latest addition, uh, and it's in an emergency factor. It's a backup emergency factor, and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we go down to the basement and we open up one of the boxes that we recently received. Now, before we actually go down to the basement and play our old game of what's in the box, uh, what I want to do is I just want to give you a few seconds of uh, a video that aired yesterday on Net25 on YouTube as well as on the Net25 website itself and it had to do with GoSolar's promotion and what I noticed was when I saw that we kind of got tipped a little bit uh, that they were going to be featuring Villa Feliz inside their video uh, was the fact that they featured Villa Feliz in their video. Uh, so I'll give you a few seconds of a, uh, a treat of that and then I'll leave the link down inside the description block and possibly at the bottom of this page right here and you'll get to see that if you want to watch it in its entirety. in punto na po ng umaga. Nagbabalik ang paborito niyong ASPN. Alam niyo naman sa panahon ng work from home. Set up yung WFH natin, lalo ng kasagsagan ng pandemic. Halos lahat nasa bahay lang, di po ba? Siguradong madalas yung sabay-sabay na paggamit ng appliances na nagiging dahilan ng pagtaas ng bill ng kuryente. Pati kaya naman, mayroong payo ang mag-asawang si James at saka si Ness na makatutulong po sa pagpapababa po ng ating bayarin sa kuryente. Narito po at panoorin natin, Roll VTR! Solo Philippines, they are the company that we purchased our system through. They did the installation. They have some of the best engineers in the market. The struggle is real. Lalo na kapag papalapit na si Aling Judith o Judate. Bills dito, bills doon. Sa patuloy na pagtaas ng presyo ng basic commodities, kasabay din yan ang pagtaas din ng iba pang bayarin. Lalo ng usapin sa pagkonsumo ng kuryente. Kaya naman, to the rescue, ang one of the sought-after solar panel installer companies sa bansa na ready to help us overcome that struggle. We have finally bit the bullet. We bit the bullet. When I say that, I, what I mean is we actually committed to a solar system. One of our intentions was to include a solar system inside our build here. Some way to be able to give us some independence from the utility company. I think the last couple of years, the, the prices per kilowatt hours have gone up a lot. And I think it has a lot to do with the cost of fossil fuel, the cost of fuels that the, the electric companies, the utility companies, have to pay for the fuel to be able to give you uh, electricity. Ano nga ba ang pangunahing dahilan nila para subukan ang solar energy system? When we installed our solar panel, our solar system here for Villa Feliz, is what we're trying to do is, of course, lower our utility bill. We're yeah. trying to lower our carbon footprint uh, to help uh, the earth. Uh, but we're also trying to hedge against the inflation inflationary prices of future uh, um, increases of the cost of the monthly utility bill. We had two and a half days, two and a half days 
100% on our utility company. And we average about 25 peso or 25 kilowatt hours per day. So, 25 kilowatts per day, time two and a half days, and this was off of the solar, just on our public utility company, that equals about 62 kilowatt hours that we paid directly to our utility to, company. Yeah, so everything that. after that was affected by our solar. Simula raw na ma-install na sa kanilang bayan ang solar panels mula sa Go Solar Philippines, agad nilang naramdaman ang magandang dulot ng solar energy sa kanilang pamumuhay. Our last bill that we just received, this new bill right here from our utility company, we went from the previous month of 872 kilowatt hours is what we used last month, this month with the solar, and those two and a half days on the utility company, we only used 112 kilowatt hours. 112 minus the 62 that we had the first two and a half days, we really only used 50 kilowatt hours with the solar from our utility company. How much? So our, our total obligation, uh, what we paid <laughs> to our utility company this month, 112 kilowatt yeah. hours, yeah. we paid 1,580.86 pesos, pesos, about $30, compared to last month's bill, which That's was 10,655.80. Wow. So anyway, our utility bill was reduced by about 85%, about 85% yeah. from our previous month, and that's including two and a half days still on the Ut oh, on the uh, yeah. utility company without any solar applied. Good job, to Jane. Right? Tunay nga namang maituturing itong isang game changer para sa lahat. Makakatulong na sa mga mamamayan, makakatulong din sa kalikasan. Because when it's about nature, it's Go Solar Philippines, naturally. Well, I want to thank the fine folks at Go Solar and the fine folks at Net25 for finding that this was interesting enough to rebroadcast this on their channel. Anyway, let's go ahead and go down inside the basement and take a look at what's in the box. Now, before we go down, I know I wasn't going to talk about bananas or anything about the yard today, but I have a couple of things that I need to talk about before we hit the basement. And this is the bananas that we just picked from the backyard back here. Uh, this is the Cavendish variety. Remember, we have Cavendish, Lakatan, Lan, Tundan uh, here in uh, our backyard of Villa Feliz. And I made this little hook out of a piece of rebar the other day and a strap that goes around <laughs> your baggage when you're traveling through the airports. And this is just a temporary kind of thing, but it gave me an idea for something later on. And this is a great way uh, to display your bananas as well as you can just come right off here and you can you can pick a banana. Let's see, let me find one that, I'll pick this one right here. Go ahead and pick this banana right here. And we can go ahead and, and go ahead and eat one of the ban bananas right off the plant. And also, before I go down to the basement, I just want to show you one thing. I finally got my cacao, and I want to give a big shout out to Edgar Torrilos. Edgar it has the plant nursery inside Rosario, and I stopped by yesterday and I picked this up. I want, uh, this is cacao, and I want cacao to make chocolates here. Now, the cacao here is taking the place of the lanka or the jackfruit tree that we had. We had a beautiful, it was healthy, there was nothing wrong with it, uh, but that is probably one of the things that we eat the least here at Villa. Feliz and I really after visiting my good friend Barry uh, from Barry and the PI on YouTube and I saw his cacao and he's doing a video series right now on how to process chocolate uh, from the cacao plant and the cacao pods with the beans inside I decided we're gonna go ahead and replace the lanka with the cacao and that's what we have right here again thank you Edgar I, I actually went yesterday to pick this up uh, Edgar picked it up from his nursery. He had a church service. He brought it to church and <laughs> I had to stop by the church to pick it up. Uh, but he wanted to make sure that I got a nice healthy cacao and this is absolutely beautiful. Again, thank you, Edgar. Let's go ahead and first do a recap on the system that we have here. And the system that we have here is our solar system. Of course, we have solar panels on the roof. Solar panels convert uh, energy from the sun into DC power. It goes inside the uh, inverter right here. The inverter converts it uh, from DC power to AC power, which is used by the house. The inverter 
using the solar panels on a roof can charge up batteries and at nighttime you can use your batteries as a backup to provide power to your house and that makes up the basics of what a solar system is this is a hybrid system uh, solar and batteries right here but we also if you remember in our uh, generator room back here we also have the echo flow the echo flow system right here this is backup batteries in the event that there is no solar uh, the utility company is down and the batteries are exhausted here. We have an emergency backup inside that room to be able to provide secondary battery backup support inside our house. So we're, we're almost covered across the board. But let's say the worst case scenario, the perfect storm happens, a typhoon, multiple days, your utility company is not there. Your utility company is gone. So you don't have any electricity from your utility company. There's no sun. It's so cloudy, lots of rain. You got a bad storm. It can't charge up the batteries. The batteries are dead. And you have exhausted your batteries inside your backup of your backup of your backup right here. What do you do when everything is totally exhausted? Well, let's go over and take a look at what's in the box and we'll talk about how we can take care of that problem. Now, our final solution here in the box, not the dog or dogs, the final solution is actually inside this box. Uh, what we have here is the EchoFlow Smart Generator. And what the EchoFlow Smart Generator does, it's basically like a gasoline generator. And what it will do, it will provide power either to emergency location inside the house if you need it for a refrigerator uh, any other device that you need to power up during an emergency situation uh, where you have no power from any of your other devices batteries solar your utility company this can provide it right here like a regular generator does but the main purpose of this is not for that type of backup this is to be able to charge up those batteries back inside the generator room back there in the event that we don't have the ability to charge it via solar let's go ahead and open up the box and see what the echoflow smart generator looks like well there you have it that's all you see inside the box when you open it up it comes with the, the smart generator itself it comes with a refill uh, for your oil uh, to be able to put oil inside the engine and it comes with a manual and i will tell you i've already read the manual and basically the manual says the first time that you start this, it doesn't come with oil inside of it and there's no fuel inside. So we'll have to add fuel, we'll have to add oil, and then we'll go ahead and talk about a little bit of the features that are on the EchoFlow Smart Generator. Let's start by looking at some of the features on this unit. This unit has a filler cap up here, and this is for unleaded regular gasoline that you would put inside of here. You have a start switch right here. You have four ways actually to start this. This is a manual pull. You would pull this manually, just like you would start a one of the older lawnmowers that doesn't have a battery starter. You would pull it from this right here. It also starts from an application on your phone. It will also start from the start button that we'll look at here in the front. And if it's hooked up to a battery pack and the battery starts getting low it will automatically come on you can set it for that as well inside your smart application let's go ahead and flip it around and take a look at the indicators on right, it let's look at the front panel let's start with the lcd screen the lcd screen echoflow does a great job with their lcd it's very clear very easy to see and very durable uh, just like we have on our remote controller and on the echoflow delta pro and the extra battery itself uh, very easy to see we also have have the electric start switch right here that was one of those four methods that I was telling you about that you can start as long as the battery is charged up internally you don't have to use the manual pull handle on the outside you have an IOT reset switch right here and this is for your Wi-Fi and for your Bluetooth connectivity with your smart application we also have the AC on off switch this will provide power to the output if you are connecting whatever it is you're trying to power up during a power outage we have an oil alert uh, engine oil alert light right here if the oil is too low it's to prevent any damage to this unit right here and we also have a co2 alarm as well if this is in a room uh and you should never install this in an enclosed room it should be in a well ventilated area but for some reason if it were in an area uh, that had too much co2 present this senses it right here and it will turn the unit off as well 
Here you see the extra battery port right here. And this is the port that we will be using it later on when we connect it to the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the extra battery. This is the uh, area that you'll make the connection right here. Uh, but with the Delta Pro, it has an adapter that will go from this to a four pin type of adapter that connects to the back of the Delta Pro for charging that and the extra optional battery. Next thing on the side is the maintenance cover. Let's go ahead and open up the maintenance cover so you'll get to see what we have access to behind this cover here. Behind the access cover, what we were looking at, we have the spark plug up here on the top. We have the oil fill right here. We have the air filter and we have the battery. We have the battery back in this area right here. Uh, as you can see, the battery is not connected from the factory. It does not come connected. You just pop off these two ends right here. When we pop off these two ends, if the battery is charged, uh, it will have enough power inside there to do the automatic start of this smart generator uh, without having to do the manual pull. And last on the back, we have the muffler right here. Again, this unit is not meant to be operated inside a closed environment. You have to have a well-ventilated area. Well, there you have it. This is the last of our additions to the EcoFlow Delta Pro family we have here. We have the EcoFlow Delta Pro, the EcoFlow Delta Pro extra battery, and now we have the EcoFlow Delta Pro Smart Generator. And the Smart Generator is the last item that we're gonna add to complement the rest of the series. Of course, we could always add one additional battery to this unit, but I think we're good with what we have right here. Now, today we didn't do an operational test. We are going to save that for another episode. We're gonna do a full functioning test and show you how this actually, actually works with the system right here. How many hours will it take to charge up these batteries and information just like that. So stand by for a product review of the EcoFlow uh, Smart Generator in an upcoming episode. Well, I hope you enjoy today's episode. I hope you got some valuable information. Uh, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on the little My PI Dream Heart. And the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll be subscribed and you'll be notified if you ring that bell the next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here in the very beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well